So we're just um, doing a uh, start check here with, with Cade, the previous owner, yes. So just, just your usual, your little rod ends, make sure there's no slop and that nothing's bound up. Yep. Um, and I, I usually just grab it down here and you can do the full movement. Yep. So to give everything a bit of a wiggle. Yep. Um, make sure this is not bent. See how close it runs? Yeah. So I just make sure it's you know it's sitting good. It's all square, hasn't bent. Yep. Um, no leaks from the gearbox. Yep. Um, oh, there's something like that. Ah, yep. So that could have fallen out. Naughty me. Yep. Um, little flex plates, just so to make sure that there's none are cracked and hanging off. And that belt sitting nice, it's tight. Yeah, nice and tight. No free play. There's another gearbox in there. Make sure it's no, not dripping out oil or anything. The gearbox is that one? Yeah, looks like the same as the tail rotor one. Yep. Um, belt there, make sure it feels good, not frayed. Um, make sure, because a lot of vibrations in the exhaust, so make sure the springs are all good and they're not loose because they're just sort of squished, so they yep. can come loose sometimes. Wiring's all sitting nice because this is your main, your big voltage, you don't want that to short out on anything. Exhaust is nice and solid. Just a bit of a sort of a visual that uh, full and free movement. Yeah, no, there's no big slop or anything. And same up at the top that it's you know nice and free and ah, see, I've never really looked at that before. Look at that. That's it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yep. Um, Always, before start up, always go right pedal hard down. Yep. I'll show you why in a minute. Um, it's the same that it's returning and... Air filters and car, just give them a wiggle because they they're, they're only clamped on yeah. those clamps. So, you know, if they come loose, they'll fall off. The pulling off is not good. That's it, just the cables and make these because they can vibrate off. And this cover here, because it's only held on by two two bolts down the bottom and the top's purely just sort of wedged in there. Yep. So just make sure, because Cam, the first owner, these vibrated out and in flight, this worked its way back, popped the spark plug caps off. An emergency landing. Yep, that was his first auto rotation. That's good to know, isn't it? So, yeah, oh, cool. I just have a wipe yeah, so wearing my glasses. So, it's and purely, that's yeah. yeah, it's got a piece of uh, stainless steel, um, which is a heat shield to shield that bearing. Yeah. yeah. There. Yep. So it's pretty much wedged, and because it's a really neat fit on the cylinder heads, all it needs is these two bottom ones. So that's not actually bolted in there. No, it's pop riveted. Those oh, pop riveted in rivet. those pop yeah. Okay. So that sort of holds the top yep. and because it's so neatly fit on there as long as these two yep. so just regularly check them every time you start it you yep. your finger at least yep they've got loctite on them and you can see how they've added and some extra fiberglass yes because i think it, it they probably crack cracked off there. it's very thin originally yes. yeah that's... So it's, it's been beefed up which is good yep. and i put a helicoil because this is only soft alloy and it's only about that thick yep so i put a stainless steel helicoil in there which makes it a real solid thread yes so that won't come loose Couldn't, but just check them the other ones actually had it's like a little metal plate that's been bonded in to this Yep. to make it stronger yep but yeah they're probably important because like i said if this vibrates loose these will come off they'll come off yeah um that's pretty much it just just yep. good vision just same as on the robinson just wheel things you know yeah you'll get familiar and you'll be like oh that wasn't loose you know yep. last time yep oh um, yeah okay.
Oh, jet, oh, jet. And let's go. Yes, so show me how that works. So, ah. And then always like sit this on the seat. So you don't actually take so off. So you don't with, forget it. Yep. yep. And there's one tank about um, 45 Five litres. Yep. And then there's the fuel, um, tap, that is fuel on. tap in, in, in line. line is on. Both sides. And I'm going to the other side to see the other one. Yep. So at the moment, that's all full of air because I've drained it completely. Yes. So you have to crack the water drain. Which is that one. And yep. you, you watch, you'll see the fuel. See? So now it's coming down. Once it's coming out of here. Yeah. You know, you filled all of the fuel lines. You won't have air. Yes. All right. And you can see that's full now. Yep. Okay. All right. I'll turn that off now. Yep. And uh, I'll just write to say, did you, you said there before about the need to uh, right rudder down. Yes. Uh, in order that the um, we don't have an issue up here. So it's um, neutral. So yeah. it's neutral and it, uh, it can actually go past the point of uh, no return and actually be wrong if, if someone bumps it. Yep. Um, so always make sure when you're doing all this and you're on your startup, just right, right pedal down. Yep, so yeah. full pitch, yeah. bad. Neutral, good. Yep. <laughs> Jet on the counter. Okay, so what have we got there? So yep. EGT is exhaust gas temperature. Yep. Which if you look in the Mosquito manual, it'll tell you what the range should be. Yes. So that's basically your mixture. The biggest killer of a two-stroke is lean fuel mixture. So that right. will let you know. So if it's too cold, it's not... It's, cold it's is rich. rich. Cold is rich. Hot is lean. Okay. So anywhere in the green's okay? Or preferably towards... Uh, no, you, uh, you... The guide's in the manual. Write it on a bit of paper and stick it here until you get it etched in your brain because that it doesn't have a minimum and a maximum sort of set on right You've got to know what the what the value is. There's a mosquito in the mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your own thing. Uh, yeah. So it's basically top to bottom is that's your top cylinder, that's your bottom cylinder when you look at the motor. Okay, so there are two cylinders. So and, I, and CHT, cylinder head temperature, which I think you have in the uh, Robinson, I can't remember. Yeah. That's just. Yep. Um, yeah. What's F1 and F2? Uh, you have to go through the manual. Right. Does um, the knob do anything? Yeah, because you can set every, you can change parameters and things. Okay, I no, wouldn't touch right. it. No, no, I'm not touching anything. Well, that's all sweet. And same with this. Like I've set it all um, for me, yep. which is probably how you should leave it. But if you want to change, you can change the way it displays it and stuff. Um, so is that really? That's altitude, really? Yeah, um, I think you've got to set it for your base, uh, which I. Yeah. Not even sure how you do that. As, yeah. Um, As a, from, from my, I, I, I'm a glider pilot, we always used to set it at, at ground where we took off. Yeah, yeah. You know, not above um, sea I level. Just, there's yeah. a manual in there for it. Yeah. These, I, saw I don't that. think the, there's not a paper manual, but it's online. So that's flashing now because it's. Um, what's flashing, sorry? Oh, that little flashing things there now. So the, see the little uh, red? Ah, oh, yes. It's um, been sitting still for too long. Yeah, uh, I think it's because the warnings, the warnings set for low. Like if it had a beeper yep. hooked up, it would beep at you because your your rate of RPM would be too low. Yes, okay. Um, so yeah, this this should resemble your analog gauge. In it does, Robinson. yeah. So this we're looking different. at keeping it in the green once it starts off. Yeah, so, yeah. So that's the rotor, and the, so we're going to have the engine. Um, if we keep, so the engine revs. Yeah. So this is, six, a, that this is a percentage. Ah. Because these work in percentages so that they match. So 100% um, is 100% rate right RPM. All right. So where, where would that's good? Where would that's, where would two thousand? Well, that would be six thousand so at a hundred. This when it's going, oh, tiny so it tack becomes a digital taco. Digital taco so yeah. you can look at your six and whatever on here to okay. confirm. So basically, it's a backup. If this yeah. fails, you can go. I Keep know that six thousand is going to. Yep. And land if that it. fails, you can go. All right, six thousand for me. Okay. Um, but this is calibrated that the six thousand is hundred percent, and hundred percent on the rotor is the I think it's five fifty or whatever the, the manual says. Yeah. It's all all settable. Like I've done it all to yep. to the yep. specs. All right. So um, just for Oh, okay, I can turn it off now then, that's good. One, two, oh, I waited to go here. Okay, so what's that thing? So it's, it's the primer. primer. Yep. So pump it till you feel it go firm, like it just did. Yep. 
and that means it's got fuel to it and then go one two depends how cold it is if it's like a freezing morning maybe three or four you'll yep. get to know it yeah out to make no. sure thanks guys off. no worries pull that out then you know masters off masters off uh all, the three the the that's off and that's off and that's yep. off. There's nothing else to turn off there. That's it, and that's um, the master anyway. So um, there's the um, fuel, off. fuel off and fuel off. Um, but if you wanted to drain it, yes, you'd have to leave on. those on. Yeah, so, so can we leave it in there for a little bit or not? Do you reckon I'd we should? Like, do you want to start it again like today? Today, or? probably not. No, I'll drain it then. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. hard yeah. and it's just good peace yeah. of mind. Yeah. So, well, have you got a little jerry can or what's I ha oh, I do have jerry cans. I wouldn't. I, I'm not. Gonna, I've got brand new fuel and a pound. And so this is the complete. We've done our checks on the outside. This is the start-up procedure. Just squat down, just, I mean, I'm not going to hit the starter button. Yeah, yeah. I don't, just in case. Oh, I see. Sorry, what a fool. Oh, I've got that on. So, master. Yep. And the little, the straight wide, the max comes on automatically. Yep. I'm just going to video that. Yep. Okay. Gauges. Yep. Which were really good and clear and easy to understand. They are, they're great. And you can change. That beeper yep. is set. If it goes above a certain temperature, it'll beep off. Yeah. Um, if the rotor, if the rotor um, speed goes, if you're in flight, or is it, what does it do there? If, the, if there's not, a... Yeah, it's not connected. I'll explain that in a minute because it's kind of complicated. This one, that beep you heard, <laughs> is the warning for these, which is set if it goes above the maximum temperatures. Yeah. Yep. yep. Um, so, right pedal down. Switches, all on. If it's cold, prime it. Hey, I'm, I've ducked down. Yep. Do, um, do you want to just see if it will start with the battery yeah, after it's had a little... Might. So we've got all this... Uh, oh, the fuel's off. Have I got them off still? Yeah, so that's There's right. probably enough in them, but just turn that I'll just, one on. I wonder if I can reach through and do it. Yeah, I can. You can, yeah. yep. Okay, so they're both on. Yep. That. Nice and square, straight up. Yep. Is They're not going to, you know, the discs are going to tip down and hit someone yep. like you. <laughs> yeah. Nice if it was cold, I primed it. Yep. Just just off idle. Yep. Only just. Yep. Probably won't have enough charge, but we'll see what happens. Amazing. RPM there. RPM. Just some um, while we're videoing it, so yep. so um. You keep it to 3,000 yep, so um, uh, normally, up. not now, but normally. Three and to three and a half. Until we got um, cylinder head temperatures up to 100. About 100, yep. And at that point, yep. we could rev it up, up to, to 6,000. 6, 100%. 100%. Yep, which would be 600 yep. on there and hold it on that. And it'll get up to sort of mid hundreds, yep, which yep. is the normal operating. Yep. And then you're good to go. Mid, mid hundreds, what's that on the, um, on the uh, mid hundreds, I see. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Things, okay. Yeah, they sit. There's a range which is acceptable. Depends on the weather and yep. all that sort of thing. All right. And now, uh, just because the motor's off, don't think yes, you can stand right. up. And that's why I got this in my knees. Because if oh, I you're yeah, standing, yeah. You stood up yeah, and yeah. I bumped it, it'll, it'll the whole like, disc will tilt like like one way. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, there's no there's no tension brake at the back like the Robinson. No, you can't. <laughs> Slow it down, Slow it down. No. you just no. got to wait. You just got to wait. And no, they take a fair while when you've had up yeah. at 100%. So you can slow that down now. That yeah, I would, but I won't. Yeah, no, that's all right. It'll just do its thing. Yeah, when all you've right. had it at 100%, you turn it off, you'll sit in here for a fair while. Yeah. All right, turning off.